Uh, welcome, Advent of Code 2021, day 18. Today we should match 2018. Uh, snailfish. Okay, let's see what snailfish is. Oh, fool. Oh, this is disgusting. Kind of. I don't know. This is okay. Smiley. Uh, you descend into the ocean trench and cards are some snail fish. They say they saw this light of keys. They'll even tell you which direction the keys went if you help one of the smaller snail fish with its mass ho homework. Okay. Mm -hmm. fish numbers aren't like regular numbers. Instead, every snail fish number is a pair, an ordered list of two elements. Okay. Closure is very good for that. Mm. Each element of the pair can be either a regular number or another pair. Pairs are written as its. Okay, then let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Here are some snowfish numbers. One snowfish number per line. Okay, this is perfect for parsing with closure. <laughs> that, like, reader just reads it, right? The snailfish homework is about addition to add to snailfish numbers, form a pair from left and right parameters of the addition operation, becomes one, two, three, four, five. So it basically means sum. Snailfish numbers must always be reduced, and the process of writing the snailfish numbers can result in snailfish numbers that need to be reduced. Reduce snailfish. Uh, if any pair is nested inside four pairs, the left most, leftmost such pair explodes. If any regular number is 10 or greater, the leftmost such regular number splits. Okay, so it's kind of B3, kind of. Mm, once no action on the above list. Uh, what, okay. During the deduction, at most one action applies, after which the process returns to the top of the list of actions. For example, if split produces a pair that meets the explode criteria, the pair explodes before the split occurs. Okay. To explode a pair, the pair's left value is added to the first regular number to the left of the exploding pair, if any. And the pair's right value is added to the first regular number to the right of the exploding pair. If any exploding pairs will always consist of two regular numbers. Uh, then the entire exploding pair is replaced with the regular number zero. Here are some examples of single explode action. Okay, so nine. Uh, so we, saw we add this to this. And we apparently consume this, right? The nine has no regular number to its left. So it's not added to any regular number. Uh, what? So this adds to this and it becomes nine. This just disappears and zero uh, in place of what? Seven because three plus four, right? Two disappears and zero. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah, okay, okay, so I get it, I get it, I get it. So this is replaced, but if there's anything, there's anything on the left, we increase this, right? No. Yes. And replace this with zero, okay. Mm. Blah, 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 becomes seven, three, so this becomes eight. This becomes nine, and this becomes zero. Okay. Uh, the pair three two is in a, unaffected because the pair seven three is further to the left. Three four will explode on the next action. Okay, okay, okay. To split the regular number, replace it with a pair. The left element of the pair should be regular number divided by two and rounded down, while the right element of the pair should be regular number divided by two and rounded up. For example, ten becomes five five, eleven becomes five six. Okay, so here this process of finding the reduced result of after addition for free, after explode, after explode, after split. Um, so this split, this split, and this explodes. Okay, once no reduce action apply, the snailfish number that remains is the actual result of the addition operation. 
Okay, your homework assignment involves, this is super crazy algorithm, like it's not, not like anything I've seen. Your homework assignment involves adding up a list of snailfish numbers, your puzzle input. The snailfish numbers are each listed on a separate line. Add the first snailfish number to the second, that add that result to the third, and add the result to the fourth, and so on, until all numbers in the list have been used once. For example, the final sum of this list is blah, blah, blah. The final sum of this list is blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And here is a slightly larger example, okay? The final sum is font after blah, 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 blah. Okay, to check whether it's the right answer, a snailfish teaches, teacher only checks the magnitude of the final sum. The magnitude of a pair is three times the magnitude of its left element plus two times the magnitude of its right element. The magnitude of a regular number is just that number. Okay, for example, blah, 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 here more more good examples, so giving the example from the assignment, the final sum is okay. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, we can work with that, I, I suppose. Okay, so input goes in here, right? And we also need maybe this. Uh, let's call it the team example and yes, save it here and call it like this. Okay, cool. Uh, so first thing first, we need to parse and parse produce basically uh, read or even read, read stream, read the next object from the stream, which must be in some stream post. And in format, uh, enter the value when the spot in your office was exception. Reader, some of text symbols, default, function to ours. Okay, so we probably need read. Um, okay, let's write a function called parse. Uh, it takes input, and what we want is it actually takes reader uh, okay no no input probably is easier reader let's see if we can make a reader from a string string okay yeah reader So repeatedly, repeatedly, uh, read, okay, even read closure, we need closure even. Uh, reader, okay, so this open reader, reader input, your reader input repeatedly uh, read a stream opts e of e of new right and sorry I don't understand the question. One line left is reading my stream. Yay! Welcome, guys. We are solving advent of code in closure. <laughs> File not found exception. File name too long. What? Okay, what, why is... Hmm. 
The, so maybe I am using reader wrong. If I go the string, it tries to resolve it for the rise and its local file name. Okay, yeah, this doesn't work. Uh, we need um, string reader, I think. Java EO string reader, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Java EO string reader. Class called um, pushback reader. Okay. And pushback reader. Okay. Okay, now it works. Uh, the only problem is it kind of, oh, it's okay, it works, right? It works for our case. And basically it's vector fine. So we need now to, to write an operation called add. Okay, let's, so there are two things, right? There is addition snailfish homework is about addition to add to snailfish numbers from pairs uh, from a pair so it's basically just join um, and then we write reduce right so add is not uh, oh let's call it a and b and basically what it does is reduce some, something like a b so it's basically a vector right it's, so it's not interesting. Okay, so we need to write reduce operation. If any pair is nested inside four pairs, the leftmost such pair explodes. Okay, yeah, we probably shouldn't write, call it reduce, but maybe explode number and maybe depth okay so now I, I have to figure out how to write this uh, explode right so this is deeply nested and the problem with it is we can go down, find a pair that explodes, but somehow we need to keep left and um, leftmost and rightmost numbers. We need to change them as well, and they can be like arbitrary nested. Uh, okay, okay, okay. We can use depth first traversal, go from left to right, find a deep enough um, pair, and then carry on. Keep previous value, current value, and next value, right? And then somehow uh, produce. Huh. This is tricky. Uh, 
wouldn't be zipper of any help see who yet How do you work with this? So you have, for example, this, right? Okay, let's call. Maybe this is what we need. I don't know. I never use zippers, so let's see if we can use them, right? Um, yeah, we don't need that. But uh, let's find let's find the numbers that we can simplify, that we know how to simplify. Uh, in our case, uh, most this is the hardest example, right? So let's use this zip vector zip. Okay, so this is a zipper. We can. Um, Pen child down edit. Next. Okay. So we can call next on it, right? Let uh, Z be this. Next Z is going to be like what? Ah, yeah, okay, so yeah, we, we should be calling it like this. Okay, so and we can call node zip node right so the first node is this okay what if we call it one more the so second node is this then probably this okay so it feels like it's what we need right and say we want pass. Wait, what? Uh, sequence of nodes leading to this location. No, this is not what we need. We need somehow to determine a depth. Root up. Edit. Down. And child edit left left make node. So say we call replace. Okay, so let's say we are at at this, right? And we call replace two with ten. Then we say root. 
and we get the same structure but this is replaced okay this is cool this is what we actually need the only problem is i don't see any notion of depths branch children down edit and insert item and select my child okay yeah but maybe maybe still a uh, pass is what we need i don't understand it just it's hard so we are at two right yes and first it was this then this no this is topmost node right this is top then we went down to left part then we went down to this so it's basically three elements and it's kind of three What happens is okay so let's say we use this right and um, loop z say z right if zip and z just return z root z otherwise what we do is Uh, bigger or equals count zip okay I'm going to call it zip because like repeating zip is always is going to be too long uh, z pass z4 kind of cond If you found a vector else recur yes 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 and what we get is our seven three is replaced okay 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 so we need to replace it with zero but we then need um to go to left and to go to right right so to go to left with left siblings on this lock or a left more there's no logs left most sibling at this lock or self okay but we have we have prep right depth first if i use returns new oh my god Huh. I just wonder how we move left. So left doesn't really go. We need what we need is pref and next. And this have to be a number, right? we can also uh, keep Is 
is there a way to return pass somehow or not Place right make node left left insert left link and edit okay so now i am like trying to figure out like we found this location let's say somehow we need to go to the previous location which is also okay right um, and the next location and we need to do all that while trying to understand p nodes p pass p pass okay this is tricky here than i thought um we can remember previous paths we can remember previous go to previous update that then run the same starting from previous going next until we find our uh, current node update that and then basically it's two algorithms right so in this case we we say um, okay let's say we need the previous brief or last simple is going to be nil okay so this is exit condition uh if um if it's if if it's just just a number we recall with this and z right otherwise last simple okay so now we found um, this last simple. So we actually returned the last simple if last simple. Um, so you kind of need three algorithms, right? Or four. Okay, 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 okay. So, hmm. so first we find um, a node, right? That can be updated. Then we go to previous node. Then we find that node again. update that node then find next node okay so this sounds like super complicated but uh, Sounds super complicated, actually. 
Okay, let's write a function that works like this. Uh, move, it's going to be called move left. It will take a predicate and a zipper, right? Like this. And And what is going is going to do? Is there a like function called begin? And so what if I call pref on like say z pref nil? Okay. loop zz if pred z node well actually pred z right z well uh, actual few conditions if it's nil we return nil if it's pred z we return z otherwise we return um very core uh recur z pref z right so this move this is move left then we have the same move right and um let's see what happens here no you need to check for the end okay okay so uh, z and z return nil uh, if predicate return z otherwise we return z next z okay and this is move left and this is move right okay so we start with Z, right? Um, if some move right uh, Z and let node Z, node Z and vector node bigger or equals count z pass z okay let's write a function called depth uh, z depth c4 okay So if we found a node that we can replace, right? So I actually need to start with Is this okay? Okay, so either we start, we move left from where we found this the Z, right? Um, if we can find a simple number to the left of where we are standing. Okay, uh, we 
we actually update it with we also need a predicate call explodes and it exceeds basically this Maybe that would count because it will be devs probably. Loads. Okay, so if we can find a node that explodes, we, we take it, we move to the left with a simple number. If we can find it, we say Z play z update update no 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 let's go to zip um clear zip edit edit f lock yeah uh, z edit z prime plus a right and then uh, move right move right explodes right so we go back otherwise adjust the otherwise if we, if there is no nothing on the left we place the zero we replace itself and finally if some z prime move Right, Z number Z node percent, like this. Let's call it simple number Z node Z, right? Move left, simple. If there's node on the right, we actually update it with um, Z edit plus B, Z prime plus B. Otherwise, we just return Z. Otherwise, we just return Z and all this replace with root. Okay, so this is, looks super crazy. Um, lazy sick cannot be cast off right. Okay, let's see what is wrong here. And okay, so we start with the move right C explodes. Right explodes. Okay, I don't understand what's going on. Uh, I don't understand actually where we. What is wrong here? Uh, I really 
really don't understand what's going on. Y is move right. Z explodes. Move left is simple. Move right, move right. Fifty six. So here we somehow. Oh yeah, because we could replace here. Yeah, I forgot this. Okay. So this becomes three two eight three. Is it correct? Uh, no. <laughs> ah, no, we, we're trying. Which one we're trying? This with seven and three, right? Yes. Uh, three, two, eight, oh, nine. First of all, we don't find any zeros in there. This is strange, right? We should find some uh, zero in somewhere, in there somewhere. Okay, let's let's try it again. If we start with start and find a node that's supposed to explode. Uh, we remember its values, right? A and B. Then we move left to find a simple node. If we can find it, we should be able to find. Okay, so let's start. Let's first print print a b right seven and three. So we found the correct node. Okay, cool. Mm, maybe z node z like. Then uh, maybe we move left, we print what we found on the left, and uh, sorry, let's try again. Okay, I because of a Python, I'm using a print instead of println, and this is confusing. Okay, so let's try again. So we we find one which is previous node, which is correct again, right? This is correct, actually. Um, we found previous node, which is one. We say edit it by adding a, which is we know is seven, so we get eight in this place. And then we move right to until explodes, and we know this always ends up uh, somewhere, right? We, technically, we should end up at seven three again. Okay, so. Let's print on z not z. We end up at the seven three again. We replace it with zero, which is cool. Um, then if we can find something on the right of it. That looks like what we need. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So on the right, yeah. So we probably need this instead. Okay. And zero, eight. Yeah, it looks like it works. We just updated the same node, which is not what we want. Okay. So this is explode once, right? Explode once. Mm. Let's call it N. And also let's call explode once. And Like this, okay. So this is function. This is what we do. Uh, then we call write a function called explode. 
No, we don't write a function called explode. We write a function called split, actually, right? Okay, let's read about split now. To split the recall number, replace it with a pair, the left element of the... Okay, so this is super simple, right? So if a number is bigger than 10, 10, 10 or greater. Okay, okay, so yeah, yeah. Um, Definitely split once, uh, number n. This is pretty straightforward, right? I hope it is. Okay, so split once and we do kind of the same. Oh, nah. We kind of do the same, but simpler if some move right Z. Let's write a function different splits z let node z node z and number node bigger equals node 10 okay so this is this means splits if some uh, splits let while z replace okay so here we go quote while two right and here we go quote in qual two right so yeah this should be right Right, otherwise it's just Z. Okay, um, splits once. Okay, let's try something that splits. So, for example, this should split, right? Okay, so it's going 0, 4, 15. Uh, yeah, split once. Split once. Four uh, f feels okay. Okay, so let's go right simplify and let n prime okay so n prime is going to be explode once n if equals n prime n split once n right So this means we simplify it. Otherwise, no. Well, actually, let's start not equals. So we recur and prime. Otherwise, uh, not equals. We recur and prime. Otherwise, we just return n. So that means there is nothing left to simplify. Um, Okay, so this is what we want to simplify. And zero seven four seven eight six zero oh, eight one. Okay. Feels like we got it right. Um, let me move this to comments. 
we also need to calculate magnitude and magnitude is actually simple the magnitude of 9 is the magnitude of pair is 3 times the magnitude of the left element plus 2 times magnitude of the right element okay so this is simple um, different magnitude and if number n it's just n otherwise let a b n uh, plus multiple three magnitude a multiple two magnitude b right so this is magnitude and finally we okay no no not not yet okay <laughs> uh let's say an example um okay so this is an example kind of let's see if we get the magnitude right right magnitude of this is three four air eight eight no wait what yeah yeah so this example produces the correct magnitude okay cool now what we need is to write actual solution in which we take um we actually say reduce parse parse input right and we egg and n and what we are going to do is call simplify uh egg n right so we can like this and then we call magnitude okay so this is example uh, let's uh, see what we get for 140 seems correct okay let's calculate three four eight six yay okay so zippers work and uh not exactly as I would like them to work, but with these two functions, it's actually pretty straightforward here, right? It doesn't look simple, but um, it's okay. Okay, part two. You know, this is the second question. Oh, actually, why, why is there a delay, actually? I, I noticed there is a delay. Did we again somehow? No, I don't know why. So I print. I don't have print as well. Okay. Anyways, you know, the second question on the back of your homework assignment what is the largest magnet you can get from adding only two of the snailfish numbers? Not that snailfish addition is not commuted if that is x, y different results yeah obviously again question is like example homework example large magnitude of sum i need to snap which number is the least this is a magnitude of pom 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 um so we need a list of every pair do we have a function for that pair mutations yes Uh, all the ways of taking n possibly the same elements from sequence of items okay this looks like uh, a good library let's say we want it Okay, 
and then go back. Closure mask combinatorics. Let's call it comb. Um, okay, but actually selections all the way of taking and possibly the same elements from the sequence of items all subsets of items, permutation index, input multiple partitions, all distinct partition. Is it partitions that we need or combinations maybe? All the unique way of taking t different elements from items. Okay, we probably need com combinations. Let me just check it real quick. Right, comp combinations. So let's say we have something like this. B or two or three two, but we don't have two one right, and we we should have that okay and combination partitions okay let's try no i don't understand what partitions is No, this is not what we need. Uh, permutations. All the distinct permutation of. This is also wrong. Uh, selections. Okay, this is kind of okay, but it. We can we just remove the same, right? So <sighs> so pairs is basically selections comb selections nums remove A B equals A B. Right, this is our pairs. So what we do is we take pairs, we take zero and Fn max or like this a b max arc magnitude um, simplify a b right Okay, three nine nine three. Is this correct in example? Yes. Mm, four seven four seven. Okay. And that's the right answer. Yes, just one hour, just one hour, and we get everything right. Uh, it took quite a while to do but unfortunately right let's actually see what why is that let's say we measure this time and we also c 
see how many pairs are there. Okay. So there is around ten thousand pairs. But assume I assume like zippers are not super um, optimized structure. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. And we are not using them like in most optimal way, I assume as well. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, there are. It works, and that's what matters, right? Okay. Uh, first, we need to remove this time, and second, we need to. Clean up day seventeen. Right. Mm, it's line thirty six. Something in here. Okay, yeah, fix it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's commit. Combinatorics, day 17, day 18, day 18, this, day 18 example, just day 18, um, stage, year 2021, day 18. Commit, push. I check leaderboard, I check events leaderboard, so we on par with 2018, but I have a personal quest of beating 2018, so maybe we switch to that. Let me pause recording for a 